Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch artist who created landscapes. A landscape is a picture of painting of outside. In his landscapes, he had movement that was shown through his brush strokes and his thick uses of paint. We will look at Starry Night, his very famous painting, and we will see how he used movement in the sky and the village. We will create our own Starry Night using oil pastels and watercolors to show movement and texture. We're gonna start our oil pastel watercolor resist. We're going to do the sky for our Van Gogh Starry Night painting. Uh, we can start with yellow. I want you to think of what kind of moon you want in your artwork. Do you want a crescent moon? Do you want a full moon? If you want to do daytime and not nighttime, you could do a sun. And I'm gonna add some stars. I'm thinking about variety. Some big ones, small ones. Then I am going to do dashes around my moon and stars. Radiating from the stars. Pressing hard with the oil pastel so it will resist the watercolor when we place that down. Now I'm gonna think about how to make some wind. I can have some dashed wavy lines or just wave you can go ahead and grab some of the other blues radiate from that line filling in those white areas Maybe you want to add this purpley color. This is helping us see movement that it seems a little bit windy in our landscape. Painting of outside. You can even add white in your areas. When we add the watercolor to that, it will resist the watercolor, the white pastel will, and it will show up like a magic trick. I even wanna add some reds in here. Maybe some shading on my moon. have liquid watercolors here. You can choose, do you want blue, purple, black, turquoise? Your choice. We're gonna use our liquid watercolors. Get a little bit, press your bristles, make sure you don't knock this over. We are gonna start at the top and work our way across our painting. Wherever our pastels are, it will resist our watercolor and the pastel will show through. Go horizontally. Think about your brush strokes. 
all the way to the edge. I started at the top so I didn't have my hand sloshing in my painting and I'm working my way down. Now we're ready to add the foreground. We have our background here painting, showing lots of good movement. Now we're gonna think about the, the town we're gonna to create. So I have my black tempera paint here. I'm gonna pick some up and I'm gonna start with my horizon line. A horizon line is where the earth and the sky meet. And I think it's more interesting when it's not exactly straight across your page. I'm gonna fill the bottom of this in. All the way to the edges. And we're just doing a silhouette. So think about trees. If you wanted to do a tall cypress tree, like Van Gogh did, you can do that. I have my moon over here, so I don't think I want my cypress tree there. I think I'll add it here. The wavy line coming down. And then maybe I want to have some little houses in my village. I can start out with a square. I could add a triangle on top. I could have another little house here. Maybe this house is taller and thinner. Make sure it goes to your horizon line. Make sure maybe it has a different kind of a roof. I'm using just the tip of the brush to get that angle. Maybe I want another little bush coming in off the side here. Maybe this house is going to be wider and go off the page. I'm not going to be able to get too many details in because I do have limited amount of space. sky I've shown a lot of movement with my lines and then in the foreground I have a silhouette of uh, a village or a town using different shapes to create my houses or buildings I've used variety I have a small one a medium one a shorter larger one to make my landscape a little bit more exciting. Now we'll add some design onto our silhouette. So on my cypress tree I did some wavy lines to show the tree all going up towards the sky. I started um, outlining the roof here and then the house and I did a scallop pattern on the shingles. I can go ahead and Add a door, windows and shutters. And a small bush up front. Notice I'm extending my houses a little bit below the horizon line. That will show depth. If I did this one, this one I could do at the horizon line and that's gonna look, make it look like the house is further away in the distance. Think about different shapes for your doors and details you could have on them. Oh, this building made out of bricks. You can even add a little texture into your foreground here. Now 
maybe this is just a haystack in the background. There is our starry night landscape with lots of line design, texture, and patterns. 